Time Lords released massive amounts of a hormone called Lindos in moments of extreme trauma, and it was this hormone which triggered regeneration. Newly regenerated Time Lords could be identified by elevated levels of Lindos in their system. Pros. The Twin Dilemma. Audio. Unregenerate. Time Lords were also said to have packets of regeneration energy in their bodies, one for each life. These packets could be physically removed from a Time Lord's body, essentially robbing them of their regenerations. TV. Mordrin Undead. During regeneration, a Time Lord experienced a surge of pure regenerative energy, as their entire system was rewritten and their universe molded into a new shape, with their very biodata being rewritten in the fabric of space-time. Pros. Unnatural history. Unfortunately, their immune systems were seriously weakened as the process took place, with the result that they could be infected by viruses such as the faction paradox biodata virus that would normally have had no effect on them. Pros. Interference. Book 2. On a wider scale, regenerations were so important to a Time Lord's timeline that even minor temporal paradoxes during the process of regeneration could have devastating consequences. Audio. Prisoners of Fate. TV. Twice upon a time, the fourth doctor explained that he still had the same body as his first incarnation. It had just been restructured a lot since then. He agreed that the process of regeneration went against Newton's third law, and added that he did violate a few laws, now and then. Pros. Legacy of the Daleks. The 13th Doctor described regenerating from her previous incarnation as, every cell in body burning, as her, whole body changed. She stated that, while changing, there's this moment when you're sure you're about to die and then, you're born. She deemed the process as, terrifying. TV. The woman who fell to earth. 